G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, when we're back in our Clock Tower series for Alpha 20, looking at and admiring yet another sunrise that somehow we're lucky enough to be witnessing, despite my horrendous decision making of late, all of my goopy bits are still in order, but we're coming back, I'm still up in the desert looking for my motorcycle handlebars, but I'm coming into today with a plan. I think I saw, I'm pretty sure at least, I can see like the road markings of a town out to the south down that way. There's not much left for me in this town specifically to find a handlebar, so I think I'm going to push out there nice and early, see if there's any more uh, passing gases that I can raid, and hopefully, fingers crossed, find the handlebars I'm looking for. But if I can't, all of the traders back where I used to live, or back where I normally live, back out in the pine forest, there's a bunch of traders there, and they've all just restocked, so hopefully, if I can't find what I need here, hopefully I can buy what I need from one of them. So my goal for today and tomorrow is to push out over there, go on a cheeky raid, hopefully get a level up to get my um, better barter up and about as well. It's a lot to ask of me, but I'm quietly confident. Which means it's definitely going to go badly. Before I crack on, actually, can I just point out how ridiculous it is? I was so focused on finding the handlebars last night when I was running around with my eye candy on. But I found these three vehicle mods all one after the other, which is bloody ridiculously good. I've got a fuel saver mod. I doubt I can chuck these things in the bicycle and, you know, save my muscles a little bit more exertion, pedal a little bit more efficiently. I've got a fuel saver mod, I've got off-road headlights, and I've got a reserve fuel tank mod. Increase my storage by 50%. So, those are three really good mods to have. Didn't find the supercharger, but that's okay. We can find one of those later. That's less important, but pretty stoked to find those. I'm also uh, pretty full on with all the things I wanted to sell to trading today. I suppose I could wait and just have a chat to him before I go. Or do I bank that there might be, might be a trader over in the new town. Yeah, stuff it. Stuff it. Let's go. Let's save ourselves some time. Let's go crack it on. Let's have faith in the trader generation thing. Hopefully there's one waiting for me over there. That town really just wasn't quite big enough for me. I wanted so many things and there wasn't that many options, but I'll move on to the next joint. Miss me, please. I always aim really high with the bat, I've noticed as well. I'm really trying to, like, skim the top of their foreheads rather than, like, aiming for the neck like I used to. Back in the old, uh, the old style of Seven Days, before they brought in the glancing blows, where you had to be on the button, on the nipple, for all of your melee, or else you just missed entirely. Uh, I used to try and aim for, like, the top of their neck, so if they waggled their noggin about, I'd still clip, like, their shoulders or their chest. May not get the headshot, but would still do enough damage to sit them down normally. But now, with the glancing blow mechanic and me trying to back myself in, I'm usually aiming just at the top of the fringe. Occasionally, I miss. That's okay. Sit you down eventually. As long as I get you killed after all my effort, I don't mind one too much. God, it's so good. This bat is kicking the dick out of everyone. In fact, wasn't there, as I'm starting to see a little bit of a remnant of the town coming into view. Don't mind me, Dingo. You can go hang out with Arlene. Look at you trundling along. Coming over like a yabby to a pot. I ain't in business for it today, though. Not really in the mood. But didn't I have... Yeah, that one. The opening trader routes quest to go and find uh, the other trader, Jen. It's only 800 meters away, and he's actually in that direction. Is that going to be in this town? I thought that was going to be in the winter biome. Although, to be honest, I'm not really far from the winter biome because it's like just over there. Oh, and the treasure map's over here as well. Oh, that's interesting. This could be a bigger day than I was anticipating. The trader restocks tomorrow? No, day 19, I think it was. So I've got a little bit of time. Don't have to rush it too badly. Ooh, interesting. I've made it to the town. There's someone squawking a greeting at me. I'm just going to keep on pushing through to see if I can find any sort of car workshops anywhere. Although, yeah, you're probably pretty intent on tracking me down, aren't you? That's got to be one of the most satisfying things in this game at the moment. Swatting a pelican out of the sky like it's just stolen your trout. Just feels good. Just feels good in so many ways. Speaking of feeling good, while the rest of your friends come over, I'm going to dip my chips real quick and make sure they're marinated to the best of my ability. No more pelicans. Oh, no, nope, there he is. 
As wish you just come down here and fight me. I know you're waiting for me to get on my bike, and that's fine. But I'd rather you just get down here and fight me like a manly bird. There's another shade tree auto just there, although it's missing its telltale shady tree, so guess you're just like a, I don't even know, like a sunny tree auto? There's no tree anyway. Either way, Jenny Girl is just here, just across the road from the weirdly named uh, auto mechanics. I'll check all your gubs on the way through. I'll take the glue, don't need any flowers. Oh, actually, maybe they're Jen's favorite flowers. I shouldn't just throw them away. Maybe Jen would like some love and affection. I'll pretend I picked them back at the clock tower, rode all this way to give them to her, and definitely didn't find them in her own compound. There's a lot of ruckus outside, Jen's. We better make this quick. Nothing in the cash now register. Now some money to spend. You're running a 10% off sale for the rest of the day. I wish that were true. I've only got a little bit of cash, and I know that that 10% off is a lie. Right, I do need to, though, sell you a bunch of the stuff I've shown up with. I mean, you had no money in the cash register. You're about to have even less, but I need all of this stuff to be gone, to free up my inventory, and also to spend it on... Hopefully some motorcycle handlebars. I'm not particularly confident that's gonna happen for me today. Um I'll hold on to oh, that nah, stuff. I'll sell you too. Okay, there we go. I've got six thousand dollar dues. What do you have to offer me? You got a beaker for me? Cheese knackers, don't need them though. A cigar. Tough guy sunnies. If I find some more in fact, let's just even stick it in here. Nerdy. No. I was going to say, if I find some nerdy gogs to, to buy, I suppose I should just buy them. I've been relying on trying to find them for a while, and it hasn't worked out for me. So, might be time for me to give up the ghost on that. Morale booster schematic for my drone. So, if I ever find Dee Dee, I can stitch a teddy bear head onto her face. It's a lot of money. Which doesn't... Oh, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of bloody money, Jen. You also have a bando mod, which I don't think I'm rolling with at the moment. So I'm tempted for that one. Uh, what's on my nips? I already have a bando. Like I say, some cash there. Should I buy... Oh, when am I ever going to see it again? When am I ever going to see it again? That's the other thing to consider. You buy that and don't look back. There's no motorcycle handlebars in here. So my dreams have been shot. I'll raid the drone across the road. Better. But Jen, get some better stuff for me. I'm desperate. Oh, we got a whole couple out here who are all very intense on rearranging my face. Not if I can rearrange yours first, though. Only one of you died. Oh, missed it. Gotcha. Finish you off. So good. Getting that max level sex, Rex, is just a bloody game changer. It really bloody is. Makes everything so much easier. Because then you can just switch... <laughs> Are you right, bud? You can just swing your club to your heart's content to the point where all of the zombies watching, their knees go weak at your wooden proficiency. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Before I get cracking on with raiding the Shade Tree Auto, for a video, I think that's the place. People in the comments have been giving me lots of very helpful tin, uh, hints and tips along the journey. But I think for a video was the place that people were saying had working vendos or a good chance of lots of working vendos so i'll have a bit of a gander through here it may not have like this one may not have working ones but well, there's one outside and one inside oh that was a bit of a ruckus no one's coming from the outside though so a little bit of time and space are you working you are working i'll deal with the zombies first but that's got potential i need some sugar butts oh oh uh that might be is that a wandering horde that was a lot of zombies that just showed up right next to each other. Which I normally wouldn't have a problem with, but you can stagger yourselves a little bit. Make it a little bit more viable. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I bloody kidding? This isn't even worth a teabag. This is a drop and slide. Just caress every crevice with every little hair follicle on your nutsack. Really to kind of drag that out like you're sliding it down a soapy hallway. Oh, and there is some sugar bites in there for me as well. Yes, I could have used that to sell all the gubs. So I'm more interested in the buying gubs. That combined with the uh, the pumpkin cheesecake I got as well. That should hope... I mean, <laughs> the problem isn't that I can't afford the motorcycle handlebars. The problem is that no bastard in this world is selling me what I need. Much to my um, uh, distress. There was a couple of dingoes out here. Uh, I might even quicker just finish them off so they're not gonna show up behind me as a shit shot. Show up behind me and ruin my day. Screw it. Screw it. I tried to go humane. I tried to go peaceful, but instead, I'm just gonna have to go in there and. 
<laughs> Send them doing flips. For a second, I saw that cactus. I thought it was like a giant dinosaur or something. I have flashbacks to bloody Ark. That didn't feel good in my head. Still no handlebars, but that's okay. We've got another fuel saver mod schematic I can sell and some steel tool parts as well. I, I know I should be saving the steel tool parts for when I eventually can make myself some steel tools. At the moment, actually, can I make myself steel tools? No, I can't. I need to find a schematic for it, so it's not super important right now. Neither can I make myself the auger, which doesn't need steel tools. I have motor tool parts at home. And you need 10 per pop. Okay. It's a bit of a way off at the moment. I'm not too concerned about it, but I will try and save those ones I just found. Another repair kit. Thank you very much. Bad out, and then bad in. No one else around. All right, we're all golden. Ooh, a tier 5 dubsy. A tier 5 dubs, which is better than the tier 4, can also repair you as well. But also, at some point, I can scrap all of these things, get myself the shotgun parts, and make myself a pumpy. We're slowly edging closer to that being a reality, and I'm excited about it. It's only 0.4 damage per pallet difference, but there's, what, 10 pallets in there, so it's actually... Four damage points different. All right, fair enough. In you go. Put in some mods and get you up and about. You may not be my um my go-to weapon, but you're still good to have. As long as I remember to reload you. Check the weapons bag on the roof. Steel club parts. Ooh. I mean, hmm. Steel club. It's just not my favorite, you know? It's just really not. But it would be an improvement on the baseball bat. But... It's not as satisfying to use as the baseball bat, and the baseball bat is still doing an upstanding job, and I feel like I shouldn't just throw it to the wayside just because something else shows up on the scene. But more importantly, uh, there is no road leading to the east out of here. There's nothing. There's nothing out that way, like, at all. There's the winter biome just there, but it's not... I have to go that way anyway, I suppose, to get to Raph's treasure map, and I've already done most of this stuff. Although, oh, all my good loot is left back up there, though. Maybe I can go out, because I need to take most of that stuff home with me. Maybe I can go out, grab the treasure map, and then head home to grab the stuff out of the desert house, and then head back through here. The, uh, the traders don't restock at day 19, so I have all of tomorrow to go shopping as well. Dang. Okay, well... I suppose I'll have a bit of a gander around the rest of the desert town then and see if there's something worth raiding. Like the police shop, actually. Because what's my loot stage out here? Loot stage is 73, but I'm pretty sure the cop shop is going to be a higher loot stage, potentially give me better garbage. That's how I found my tier 6 AK. Yeah, 83. So that could be worth a cheeky look. Okay, yep, no, I'm game. Let's get in there. I came back to Jens to sell like that schematic and stuff like that that I found a second ago. But I just realized this is Trader Jen. The, the trader who I have all of my rep with. Although none of the jobs are anywhere nearby. So I guess because there's such high level now, there's no high level POIs in this town. So I've got to go a long way away to get it done. In fact, I think that quest there... Oh, this is the best way to get Dukes. I think oh, I think that's gonna one. be to, um, Yeah, like basically back in my other town. Alright, fair enough. I'm not gonna take that one though, because I'm never gonna bloody do it nor come back here to hand it in, so never mind. Kinda interesting though. Okay, well, let's go raid that cop shop then. I can drop the rest of this stuff off in my bike. Hmm. Some spanners have been thrown into the works, and I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do things are anymore. Is that a military base just there or what? No, I don't think so. Now I'm going to look out for military bases because that higher loot stage based in POIs is getting me fizzy. I think the way into that... Oh, jeez. G'day, bud. You caught me well off guard. You came down swinging and made me jump a little bit, but I'm pretty sure the way into that cop shop next door is actually through um, the, the easy vid place of the forever video. Oh, that was the wall. There we go. That's a bit better. Oh, boy. Scary. Scary. Their go-go gadget extendo arms just makes me panic a little bit. When I'm in close quarters like that, they can hit me from so many more places than I could ever dream of hitting them. Do you reckon there's more gubs up there, actually? There may well be. Can I go like this? Have a bit of a squiz around? Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. All right, never mind. It was worth a shot, though. Never know where you might find something sneaky deaky. Open you. Open sesame. I love those new exit mechanics. They're so bloody good. 
Yes, this way. All right, there we go. Into the cop shop we go. Ooh, a two-time scope mod. Actually, I'll take you because you can go on to my, uh, my new lever action I've got waiting for me at home. Nothing else in there. I was hopeful to find the XP gogs, but it wasn't going to come in for me. The more I pine for that, the less likely I am to find it. As soon as I buy one, as soon as I put my money where my dreams are and just buy one from Trady, they'll be showing up all over the bloody place. I can almost guarantee it. But until then, I'll just be getting nothing. Speaking of getting nothing, that's all you lot are getting. Single file. Oh, he got a little bit. Took off his arm for it, though. High five. <laughs> I love it. There are so many things in Alpha 20 I adore so much. Like dismemberments. Ah, oh, it just makes me fun. It just makes me laugh. Just makes me happy. Last time I came through one of these cop shops, which was a long time ago now, uh, was like on day one, and there was a cop waiting for me in one of these rooms. So I don't really want to go down that path again. Double tap you. Miss all my shots on you. That was not great at all. Um, oh, oh, strippers. Huh. Oh boy, I was rifling through my pockets and the stripper titties heard the jangling of my coins and came a running. Where's the copper though? There he is. There he is. I recognize that blue bloody tent anywhere. Oh my God for me, bud. Nah, not feeling it. All right, that's fine. Here, take that then. Yep, got the, uh, the extra damage. And got the kill. Just want to make sure he dies before it causes me too much grief. Bloody don't rate you at all. I'll grab that key to open up, well, the, the evidence room, the locker where all the gubs I need. Um, quickly stop you over for that one and plonk you down on you. I know I could beat my way in using the pickaxe, but this is quicker and more efficient. Trying to be in the same room as a bomb, though. There we go. Have a little squiz. What you got for me? Oh, pipe bombs and silver nuggies. Nuggies are exciting. Pipe bombs are less so. And someone's mad about the outside as well. Can't close it behind me. Five military armor parts. I'm not finding... I'm not finding much. Maybe the, the loot stage here just be increased that little bit, but not all that much. Wasn't as wonderful as I hoped it would be. But what is wonderful is the plethora of armaments behind here. Damn it. I thought if I, if I spruced up a bit, you might show me some love. Damn it. Oh, they've made their way all the way inside. <laughs> all that hard work has led to basically nothing. In fact, before I go in there, I did just find, yeah, you. The full auto trigger mod. So I'm going to put that in instead of... Normally, I put it in instead of the reflex sight because the iron sights are good enough. But I like how the new design looks. And it would be a shame to give it away so quickly. So I'll put you into there instead. Uh, I don't think I can put anything into you, can I? No, nope, none of those go in there. That's fine. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. I'm pretty sure there's going to be an awful lot of zombies in here. Yep. Ready to cause me some grievances. Fortunately, AK's always got my back. Except when I get too close, apparently. Done. Bloody done and dusted. A pile of heaving rotten zombies. Ooh. And another couple more coming through the wall. It's fine. I got you. Don't worry about it. There's loot enough for everyone. But I'm going to be greedy and take it all for me anyway. Oh, just put it on me face and let me feel the gentle caress of your arms around me temples. The bloody nerdy glasses. We finally bloody found them. Gib me. Gib. Big old gib. Gib, gib, gib. Nice. So, now when I wear you, that's going to give me the extra level of intellect that I needed. I save myself all that extra effort, and I can now get the extra level of better barter. So, if I buy you like this, I now have access to the secret stash, but when I uh, swap you back over again, uh, I no longer have the access to the secret stash. That's how that little trick works. I have to explain it every time I do it, because a, a, a lot of people comment asking how it works, and that's how it does work. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Everything is now better. The sweet nothings were getting whispered to me by the gods of seven days have paid off because it gave me what I needed. Always get some extra gubs in here too. I'll take all of you. Now, interestingly enough as well, I need to correct past Josh's mistake. It wasn't the recog that was making my eyes go all goopy uh, way back when. It was actually grandpa's moonshine that did it to me. So recog is good to hold on to. That's a broken chest there as well. Is this worth looting candy? 
I mean, this is probably worth looting candy, right? I probably could have used it before, but it's fine. I'll just do it for this one. It's already 2 p.m. as well. Oh, I'm stoked. I'm utterly bloody stoked. <sighs> so good. Because I don't especially trust these bombs not to break the boxes next to it, and I'm not under as much of a time crunch as I have been before, I'll quickly raid you guys now. Definitely got the right gogs on. Yes, I do. You can get locked into, in fact, like that. No, nope, you go back to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. All right. What you got for me? Bookstore box. I've already read you, but thank you anyway. Always happy to find them. I'll read the anvil schematic. I've already got two, but if I need more, I can make my own at least. I'll scrap you. I'll take the buckshot. Weapons bag. I'll just scrap you for more steel sledgy parts. Got some already, but I'll take another couple because you're only worth like 40 bucks by yourself. But if I change you over to be parts, then you're worth like double that. Chuck down a couple bombs. There we go. Open up that box for me. I'm sure the radius isn't that bad and I'm running away for no reason, but that's fine. Open you up. Ooh, another treasure map as well. Who sent me where this time? Claudie boy. Where are we going? Where are we bloody going, lad? Show me the way. Oh, that's on the way home too. Nice. And it's in the desert, so I get the... Oh, they're both going to have the looting buff on them, actually, aren't they? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to quickly go see Jen, sell some stuff, and check her secret stash, because now that I can, that's going to be a good day. So I'll do that, and then... Ooh, what's the next move? I think then I'll go and uh, dig up the treasure in the winter. Raphael's treasure map out there. I'll go do that. And then I'll head back to my desert house and grab the rest of my gubs. I can get Claw's treasure map on the way back home probably tomorrow morning. But if I do all the stuff I need to do down here now, I don't have to come back down here for a while. I'm just going to sell some of the extra stuff to Jen. I am wearing my XP golds, which works out well for me. You can take all of those. The pipe bombs too. Uh, not going to sell that one. I'll sell the military armor parts, the shetty parts, the steel club parts. Look at that. Sell them all. I know I could save them to build stuff out of them later, but not really in the waiting game, more in the money-making game. Just addicted to those jukey noises. Nothing else. Okay, that's fine. So your super secret stash, you have a flat-out motorcycle for 22 grand. We're kind of on the right track there, Jetty girl. Mm, anything else for me, though? All good electric fences, too. Trigger place is starting to offer me some good gubs. What are you offering? Craft 9mm ammo, mm, less important. Damn it. Damn it. So we have a full blown motorcycle, but not the handlebars for it. If I have to end up buying a freaking motorbike just as is and having all that extra motorcycle stuff at home for nobody reason, I might be a little bit upset. Just a tad. I'll buy the pistol peep book because it might come in handy later on down the road. There's nothing else in here that's exciting me. Check in here. They're all open books already, so no wackers. Uh, maybe not you specifically, but one of your twins, definitely. All right, nice. It's almost 4 p.m. Let's crack on out into the Window Wonderland, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not particularly excited about, to be honest. I don't especially like the Winter World because it's usually a bad time. I'll track you. You're over that way. Hopefully, it's like only a bee's dick into the winter and not too far in. I don't have to fight too many yetis and mountain lions and bears and oh my god. Hopefully, it's relatively simple and easy. Though in this game, nothing ever is. It's looking promising. It is actually only just over the border. Uh, barely even a hop or a skip. Not even a jump into the winter world. All right. Yep. Here I am. I'm ready to go. It's snowing. Visibility is reasonably good, actually, for the winter world. We'll see how we go. My loot and candy is running out. If I was more proficient and more organized, I could have made it here earlier and taken advantage of that, but that's okay. I'm turning into an icy. I'm freezing my nads off. Well, we're going to be here for a little bit, so let's try and, I don't know, use some, like, low breathing or something. Keep your... Oh, they're all coming from everywhere now. Keep your heat inside you, because there's a lot of yetis coming to steal it. Oh, I see, um... I see you poor footed fuck. Oh, yep, there we go. Come back this way. That should have gone straight between the ears. Look at you charging over. Look at you courageous as shit. You're no match for high velocity lead though, so sit the fuck down. I need to get rid of you. Grab my knifey boy back. I'm not going to let it go to waste. I harvest most of the things I kill this time. I try to. The dingoes, the lions alike. Although I don't need your bones. I will waste those. I'll take it all back. Okay. Are we good? I think we're mostly good now. Let's get the old shovel out. It's in the snow, so 
to be relatively quick to dig. There was a method to this a while ago, wasn't there? I think it used to, uh, It's been a while since I lived in the winter. Uh-oh. I think it was because you can one hit all the snow blocks on the top. It's quicker to go through and harvest all the top layer blocks. So that sooner rather than later, the circle will zoom all the way into where you need to be. Yeah, that's definitely the way I did it. Okay, nice. Let's do that. Let's find the treasure, get the circle homing in. We'll find it hopefully soon. We're edging closer. We've got an awful lot of snowballs. I guess I'll take it with me so I can melt them down to murky water when I get back into the pine forest. Save me going and finding the puddle somewhere, though there's quite a few of them out there. How are we looking? Yep, we're getting there. We're slowly edging our way in. Shouldn't be too much longer before we'll come across it. Come on. Couple more. Couple more. Where are you taking me? That should be about close enough. All right, so we'll dig down, see if it's below us. Might take a little bit more digging, but we should be there in no time. Ooh, got a level up from my digging around. Uh, I might even put it in so... I was going to say put it in... Ooh, we'll put it in the minus 69. I actually put myself even better tools if I ever get the opportunity to. I was going to say put it in the shotguns. But I want to make myself the pumpy, though I then I can make a tier 3. Now a tier 4. But... With my gogs on, or oh, I can't quite get this level Derek Adventure, I really need to perk up my intellect even more to get the double dippy loot. Um, nah, I think that's the right call. I think that's the right call. I want to make that pump shotgun, and I want it to be as good as possible. I might get dicked over and find a tier 6 that's somehow worse than my tier 5 again, but that's a sacrifice I'd be willing to make. I want a good pumpy, and I'm edging closer to getting it. But first, I need to play in this hole a bit more. Turns out my dreams of this being a nice quick dig have um, gone by the wayside a little bit because I'm still... Oh, no, there it is there. I was going to say, I'm still working on it. Um, I don't have a way out of this hole now, though, because it's directly underneath where I chose to dig down. Duh, although I don't think... I can probably make it up there, can't I? Yes, I can. Okay, good. I was going to say, I don't think um, treasure chests spawn zombies to come and get retribution, but I don't want to take the chance anyway. In you go. Now, this should... It didn't used to work. But this should now work. I don't know how many it's going to take, so I'll just do one for starters. Chuck you down. Oh, I've got nowhere to go. Oh, God, this is very close. Oh, that scared me. You're still locked. How much more health do you have, though? Mm, oh, wow, you're very effective. How many... Mm, okay, I might just finish you off with my pickaxe and save myself using another bomb. Those things are valuable. I don't want to be using them just willy-nilly for no reason. Last couple of swings. I'm getting a bit peckish, so hopefully someone's buried some food for me down here. Uh, loot and gogs on. Little squiz inside. What you got for me? Shotgun parts. Thank you. Uh, I thought I heard a dog, so I'm suddenly very nervous. You know what? Just take it all and get out of the hole. I don't want to be in the hole anymore. Not in the winter by where everything in the world is a nightmare. Oh, don't dive into it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Josh. Every time you do that, you swing around in the big arc and don't pay attention to what you're doing and bury yourself with your vehicle. Not clever. That's just a crawl up. That's fine. So what do we get? We don't need that. This is weighing me down for no reason. Um, the crossbow I can repair and sell for a little bit of dosh. That'll be fine. Nothing else really getting me excited, I don't think. It was some like, decent gums in there, but nothing amazing. That's fine. Still worthwhile, though. Didn't give me a big chunk of cash, though, which I feel a little bit stitched up on. What happened to the old big chunk of change? That's what I was digging for. Where's me pirate friends? I'm just going to bypass this town and head back to my little bunker on top of the roof. Sorry, Chuck. Oops, didn't mean to clutter you like that, but you just kind of got in the way. You weren't crossing the road. You were just running down the middle of it. Not great by you. Got chicken feed for brains. Uh, I've already raided that truck over there, so I need to go do it again. Just keeping an eye out for any exceptionally interesting POIs, like military zones or, I don't know, big bunkers or something like that. Anything that kind of is a bit different to just a regular house that might have something good underneath it. Though, by the looks of things, it doesn't really look like it. All right, fair enough then. Anyway, let's head back home, start organizing my life. So I want to take back with me as much of that stuff in my boxes as I can, because after I leave the desert tomorrow morning, I don't especially want to be heading back here anytime soon for no reason. You know what, actually? I mean, it's late in the day. The sun is setting behind the wonderful cliff faces over there. 
Some of the terrain of this game still gets me fizzy, still gets me tingly at the best of times. But I think I can see in this old town over here, I think that's a Coles Books, that white building. And seeing as I'm so desperate to find a schematic for one particular thing, but schematics in general, might be worth a cheeky gander through here, a bit of a traipse around and see what I can come across. Oh, that's a pelican. Nope, nope. Speed up. Ow. The back of my head. Someone get me some bloody zip ties, please. Piss off, you mongrel. Oh, God. Yep, that is a Coles Books. All right, nice. It's getting here nice and quickly. I'm a little bit cucumber. I can stash some shit away, I think. No, I can't because I'm already chock a block. Man, I've got lots of gubs on me. Do I have some steroids? So if it gets bad, I can just use that. Oh, you bastard. You got me very excited then for a second. It's a motorcycle schematic, but not the part of the motorcycle that I actually need. I heard something... Out. Oh, there you are. Okay, I was gonna say, I couldn't quite see over the railing. I heard the barky boy of a dingo, but didn't see the zombie beating on shit. Come on, you guys hurry up, please. I've got a little bit of time before nighttime falls. I need to get this done nice and quickly. Uh, quickly change it over so I can harvest you up. Leave no valuable meat behind. I'm hungry as shit. I need to take it all with me. You know what? I'm gonna try and take that as a good sign, because now at least I know it's gonna, like, it's spawning in motorcycle stuff like this. Oh, Jesus. The schematics for the motorcycle, so I might get what I need after all. All right, no, he's gone stealthy anymore because everybody already woke up. Oh, mate, stuck between a book and a hard place, though. Can you just, like, just shink a little bit to your left so I can beat your face in through the gap? Nah, all right, fine. Gonna be like that. I'll come and get you. Ready or not, here I come. Like the worst, worst, the worst and most deadly even game of 4040 you've ever seen. Catch you later. Um, Quickly check you. I'll eat you because I'm hungry as shit. Uh, check that. Nothing. Check you. Ooh. Scrap you. I'll take the first take. You don't mind if I do. And not much in there. Come on. Come on. One last opportunity. One chance to make me smile. Damn it. In that case then, if that's how that's working out, there's also this cracker book just here. And given I'm leaving tomorrow, I'm not going to be here for much longer. I might even have a gander through there and see if I can find anything. Let's just use that. Let's just use that one. Let's not faff about. We've got a good shooter there to get through here and get through here quick. So may as well make the most of it. Check you. Nothing there. It'll come out of here with nothing. At least I'll have like ticked the box. And I'm Oh God, you're a feral. And I know it left nothing behind. Sit you down. Quickly check some literature while you're on the deck. Not sure what book that was, but I'm sure it was a good one. <laughs> Reading box and splattering brains. Blocks, books, whatever. You know what I mean. It's fun. It's just fun. There is the night, so I'm not sure I really have the inventory space, nor the time, actually, for being sensible to break down that workbench. Yeah, here comes a map, and more muppets are going to be spawning, so shouldn't really be dilly-dallying around. Let me in, please, and get rid of the glass, because I don't want to have to hold on to that forever. Check you. Well, I come to think of it, there was a way up here from outside, wasn't it? It's like the... Yeah, some other ways for zombies to get here. So don't get too complacent, Josh. You're still definitely in danger. You're worth quite a bit of cash. I'll take you and you. I might even roll... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I might even roll with the AK. Purely for moments like this, when the whole world is coming down on top of me. But Baseball Bat's got me covered. Because Baseball Bat always has me covered. Check for the neighbors. No one around, so slice their friends in half. It's good. It's good. Baseball Bat's so good. Grab whatever's in this cracker book box. It's the last bit of loot in the joints. Why some treasures volume three? Ash shows the harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. So that's the book that I needed to get acid from those medical cabinets up on the wall. Nice. That's gonna come in handy. Thank you very much. Okay, I am now well and truly cooked because I'm absolutely chock a block full of gubs. So let's get back home. Take advantage of the um of the steroids to run stuff up to the top of the tower. So tomorrow, I need to get all my stuff in order. This is the problem. I need to sell stuff, to, uh, but I also need to take all the valuable stuff home with me. So I might need to wait until uh Trady next door opens up. Also need to check his secret stash. Actually, now I have an opportunity. So that's gonna have to be a thing. We might only make it back like home. As evening falls tomorrow, but it should be a productive day, assuming any of the traders have what I need. Just gonna eat all my bacon and eggs real quick, because I'm really bloody hungry, and I might leave some food out here, but not too much. So I actually need to go through. Give me you. So how many... 
How many shotgun parts can I expect to get out of this? Let's scrap you real quick. So you give me three. You give me three. So between the two is that's 12 parts. And to make the pumpy, I need 12. But if I get the next level up and put it into shotguns, then I think it's 15, which I can get the next three from you. So I actually have enough. Ooh, I actually have enough to make myself a pump shotgun. Now, I don't know if I have some extras hiding out at home. I can't remember. I think I... If I did, I might have scrapped them, actually. Or sold them. I can't really remember. But I'm not going to take any chances. So even though you're worth almost a grand by yourself, I'll scrap you and scrap you. Yep, yep. That's fine. That's all good. Look at that. 12 shotgun parts. I can chuck you back away into them. And just slowly but surely make my way through and find the gubs that I need and organize my life a little bit. The lever action only has one mod slot, so I'll chuck the two time scope into you. Let's have a bit of a squizzature, actually. I haven't had a chance. Ooh, I like the scope design on you, though. It still annoys me to no end that the scopes in this game just black out the whole screen and have a window to look through. That's not how scopes work. That's not what it looks like when you hold a scope up to your eye, but okay. Uh, peripheral vision apparently isn't important in this game. But nice. All right, sick. So that can stay in there. And this box here can be all the gubs that I'm going to take home with me. So vehicle mods, absolutely, literally, they got to come home. What else is around? What else do I need to do? I need to repair. Well, you need to stay, actually, so I can find the book to give me the discounts. So that's fine. That can come home because I can fill it with, with mods and sell it. Or I sell it as is. No, nah, it's worth more if I sell it with mods in it. Okay, fair enough. So that can go home with me. That can get repaired and sold. That can get sold. That can go with me to the uh, traders as well. Just a matter of going through and figuring out exactly what's valuable and what's valuable to trader. Anyway, it's going to take me a little while to go through all this stuff and organize my life as it needs to be. Make sure you're reloaded though in case anything iffy comes my way. Make sure you're restacked. Yeah, now nah, good. All that stuff's coming home with me as well. So this is my home box. That's going to be my selling box. And then I'll just leave like a bunch of assorted gubs, like some food, some first aid, some water, the health supplies, like that kind of stuff. I'll just leave in the box back here in case I ever traipse on back and need some supplies. Having a couple little good things cashed away, not a bad shout. But I'll go through all of that, sort it all out, and get ready for tomorrow. Because then tomorrow morning, I've got to wait till 6 for Old Mate Across the Road to open his doors and let me sell some gubs. So might do some exploring until then. But then we're going home. We'll grab Claude's treasure map. We'll go see Jens. And we'll go see, um, who are you? Joel. We'll go see Joel as well down the end of the road. And hopefully one of these idiots, there's four traders tomorrow. Hopefully one of them will sell me some motorcycle handlebars. We'll have to come back and I'm sure get utterly disappointed in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.